The jerseys hanging from Rodney Rogers' ceiling tell a story. There's the Durham Hillside Blue from his high school days. And they gave me the name, you know, the Durham Bull. That's my hometown, you know, that's where, I, that's where my roots started. From there, the Bull traded in that blue for the Wake Forest Old Gold and Black. You know, I used to love to come back home and play against Duke. Go to Chapel Hill, play against Carolina, and try to let them know I show them that, you know, since they recruited over me, you know, I'm sure what they missed out of. That's exactly what he did. Rogers spent three seasons at Wake Forest. He won ACC Rookie of the Year, ACC Player of the Year, and earned all ACC and All American honors. He left with his number 54 jersey, retired in the Raptors. Then, the NBA came calling. The Denver Nuggets selected him ninth overall in 1993. He played for six other teams, won sixth man of the year, and played in the NBA Finals before retiring in 2005. But turns out, that was just the beginning of his story. It's a story his jerseys can't tell. Forever a Durham boy, Rogers went back home to work for the city that raised him. All the work, learn some more stuff. But then everything changed on a dirt bike ride in 2008. It was uh, the day after Thanksgiving. He wanted to go ride, and I tried to convince him not to go because um, we had already had plans. Some still kept telling me, don't ride, don't ride, just don't ride. I went riding anyway. Rogers raced his friend down a familiar hill in Vance County. And when I raced him, I split to the left, he went to the right. But this time, something was different. All of a sudden, I seen a DJ I ain't never seen before. I was flipping over, flipping over, and next thing I knew, I couldn't move that. That's what made me cry. <laughs> I hate thinking about it, but... Um... He, he asked me, don't be upset, and that, um, that he messed up. He was paralyzed from his shoulders down. Doctors gave Rogers a 5% chance of ever walking again. And from that moment, he faced a challenge he'd never seen on any basketball court. I never wanted to go outside. I didn't want nobody to see me in a wheelchair. The first year, like, we never, we stayed in the room with the blinds closed. You know, I gave... Take care of my wife like I want to. I can't hold it in my arms. I can't, you know, hold a hand and stuff like that. And sometimes it make you feel less than a man. We was in the at the point where we we both con, um, contemplated suicide. But then love took over. Rodney and Faye got married in 2010, two years after the accident. And my wife said, you know, it is what it is. We just got to, you know, stay strong and just keep fighting and fighting. Yes, we have challenges, but we're going to get through the challenge, and that's it. I think that's why I'm here. I'm here. I think God put me here for this and to help you get through and you help me get through. And as their ninth anniversary approaches, they continue to fight through life's challenges together. Every day I'm wild. I'm wild that my husband is, is still living and my hus husband is healthy and my husband has a quality life. So maybe his story isn't best told by hanging jerseys or highlights, but instead photos like this. Because this is a story of perseverance, strength, and love. And when given the choice between that and basketball, I really not really known as a good person with a good heart, also as a pretty good basketball player.